for the winner by split decision and no! Undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Rikos still not to cross I'm here with the new champion, Drake is new plus C. Drake is how does that sound? Thank you so much, Canada. Can I get my flag? Coach, coach, flag. I want my flag. This is history. South Africa, no Vietnam about to speak. Drake is you so proudly represent this nation. What does it mean to your country to have a UFC champion? I don't know, but I can tell you right now, South Africa, we can probably, if we all go silent, hear them from outside. That country is amazing. Thank you, South Africa. Thank you. They are going crazy. This is history. We love them. That's your country right there. That's South Africa, baby. <laughs> Drakus, did you think you had done enough to get the victory when you walked to the center? Listen, let me tell you this. I honestly thought... With the takedowns, I made sure on every round. I could feel it was a close fight. I definitely gave him the first round. I tried to get that takedown in the first to try and level the playing field. And I felt that he gets up really well, but I can get under him and get him down because I'm stronger. But um, I felt the first three rounds was uh, give and take, but those last, the last two rounds, I know. Everybody said, when the ghost passed halfway, and I had a point to prove. How's that for round four and five? Who says this guy's not a five round fighter? What did I tell you? Drakus, let's take a look at your work. Earlier in the week you said you had to make him go backwards and you did that the entire time. How focused on that were you going into this fight? Absolutely, that was our game plan. I mean, he has a super, super strong jab. It's almost like he doesn't open his hand. He has to clinch first every time he hits you with that jab. It feels like somebody hits you with a rock. It's very deceptive the way he throws his jab and he can turn it into a left hook. He does that very, very well. But it was imperative that I made this and go backwards. And it took me a while because I knew if I kept on pressuring, he'll pressure. But, you know, if, you, if I'm pressuring like this, this, this physique, I promise you're going to get tired. And that was the game plan. I got tired too, but I had to fight for it tonight. And Sean Strickland, he said to death, I try to kill you in here tonight. Didn't quite get there, but you are one hell of a man. Thank you for bringing the best out of me. Thank you for being a good, a good guy, doing what you have to to entertain fans. But you know, you came out here tonight. We kept it professional and was an honest showing the cage with you. Thank you. It was an absolute war. You said you wanted someone to bring that war to you. Sean Strickland did this. You are now the champion of the world, so you have a ton of options. Do you start to think about what's next? For Drake's Duplessis, you have a lot of rivalries out there, and there are people lining up to get a shot at the new champ. Yeah, well, I mean, I saw Alex Pereira get into the cage, and I thought, well, okay, here we go again. Let's do the face-off right now. Let's see if I can recover in time. But uh, it looks like that's not happening. But uh, right now, I have to tell you, man, I'm really enjoying this. I would love. There was another guy who tried to take my shine. He lost his shine. Now I have your shine. You didn't get into the cage tonight, but Israel Asanya, get your back in the UFC so we can settle the score. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the new middleweight champion of the world, Drakus Duplessis.